We are back out at Ken's. Uh, I think I just heard the metal truck pulling up. Uh, so this should be good. So I'm gonna set you guys down and uh, hopefully we can get some metal off this truck and get this thing rolling. some tools, some stuff we're gonna need while we're out there. So, um, see about safety first, of course. Um, so let's, let's get rolling. I'm here. We're good. You ain't gonna lose me. All right guys, we're on the way uh, out to Ken's. Now some of you know about this car, when we wrecked it, uh, it was total salvage, destroy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is a little bit, uh, a little bit sketch of a run we're doing. So uh, the car's tabs are still good, but uh, if we get stopped, it's gonna be a bad one. So I've got Kevin playing blocker for me. Um, the car's a little louder than I'm used to. I've got my headphones in case I need to get in contact with Kevin. Um, we're pulling up to a stoplight, so it's a little bit quieter now. Um, but the car feels really good. Uh, we're not getting any vibration in the steering wheel. Um, you know, she feels quick. We took a lot of weight out of this thing. Um, so I think she's going to be ready by the time we get all done with this cage and get her ready for the track. So um, we'll check back in when we get a little bit closer to Ken's. Uh, but for now, just enjoy the drive. incident we got all the way here uh, we thought we had a little bit of trouble with somebody following us this guy followed us all the way here it was kind of weird uh, but we're here a little bit dusty that'll spray off not a big deal uh, it's a dirt road getting in here not a big deal so uh, we're gonna get this thing pulled in uh, it's a Friday night for us so we're gonna go have some dinner but um, we're gonna start building on this roll cage so let's get this thing pulled inside the shop Well, how did it do over here? Solid? Oh, 
Looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, we probably should do that really. All right, guys, it is the next day, and I made the great mistake of leaving my camera at Ken's last night. <laughs> Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this into the next video we're working on anyway. We've got some stuff that we're getting installed on the Vintage Modified. So they're installing the fuel cell which got here yesterday. Uh, we didn't show you that last night, but let's go inside and look at what we're fabbing up. Um, let's just keep right on trucking. All right guys, so we're inside fabbing some stuff up. Kevin is doing a fantastic job. Uh, we got our fuel cell in, like I mentioned, outside. Um, that's gonna sit right here. We're fabbing up some new bars. Um, so it's going well so far. We also had to fix some cracks up front, uh, which Kevin took care of already because uh, he got here way earlier than I did. So um, we had to fix some stuff up here. There was some cracking uh, just because the chassis is old um, and things happen when it sits in a barn for 20 years. Fortunately, the metal's thick enough that we can just throw some extra welds in there, fill it up and it's ready to go. So we're gonna get this fuel cell fitted up um, that's probably our only project for the day. So uh, let's see how that looks when it's in. So you can see how it just fits right down inside there. All these holes we've got to drill through and then there's hardware that's going to go through all those to hold this thing in. So it's kind of a nice setup. This particular one is made of steel. It does have the foam baffling like our other one had that we got rid of. Um, we've got a fill port for the top of it already. Fortunately, we were able to use the old one because um, those are pretty expensive for a new fill port. So um, let's get this thing bolted in. All right, so part of the process of getting this held in here is having some support bars. So we've got the two main ones here. We've also got these ones. They're gonna slip right up under here and hold that in from the side. So Kim's gonna get those tigged in right now. Here's the box that we're making right now. Uh, this is what our fuel cell is actually gonna sit in. When this is all done, that's gonna sit right in here with the fuel cell like we showed you earlier. We've gotta have a certain number of protection bars all down the side, uh, down the bottom. So we're building this to spec as the racetracks require it. So uh, we're almost done here. Kevin's gonna get this thing welded up. Uh, then we're gonna throw this thing in the car for a final fit, but this one's looking pretty good. Here's the finished product. Uh, Kevin got everything done. We had to grind these down just because it's a fairly tight fit. We wanted to sit down there nice and flush. Uh, but all the welds on the outside are done. They all look gorgeous as always. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this in the car, get it bolted in real quick, do one last final test fitting, and then we are done with the fuel system. Well, the fuel cell. There's a lot more to come with the fuel, <laughs> fuel system, but it's a good starting point. So let's throw this thing in here. required three braces, right? Three in the back, two on the side. Awesome. And then plus we're gonna put the plate here, put the plate there, and on that side too. Yeah, so the, the plate he's referring to, there's gotta be a protection plate here. Uh, so it's just gonna get welded between these bars. Just one more thing, because you don't want somebody hitting this, poking a hole in it, shooting gas all over the track, then everybody's on fire, it's a bad thing. So, dude, that looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty impressed, guys. I wasn't quite sure how you're gonna do it, but they did it. All right, that's gonna do it for me, Kevin, or both beat. Well, probably him more than me because he did a lot more than I did. <laughs> so, it's hot. It is hot. All right, guys, we're gonna go get some sun, hop in the pool, do something fun. Uh, as always, if it's stolen or it's wrecked, I'm gonna rebuild it and race it. Thanks, guys.